So the whole concept behind the HIV is not a crime conference, the first one in Grinnell College in Iowa two years ago, and this one uh, this year in Huntsville, Alabama, uh, is that it is created by people living with HIV. We had more than 100 volunteers working on creating the program, deciding who the speakers would be, raising the money for it, processing the applications for scholarships and scoring them, dealing with all the logistics here that this is a conference principally by and for people living with HIV and our very closest allies. So we have experts in the law and in public health and, and other things who are here as well, but it's mostly people, uh, people living with HIV. And by doing this ourselves, we're able to not only be self-empowered, but we know we are, we are the experts on our own lives and it enables us to put forth our own agenda, what's important to us, what, 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 what our lives are about to select leadership of our own choosing and, and through the networks that gather and in many cases are created here to speak with a collective voice. Um, for me, it's the embodiment of a dream uh, of, of where the self-empowerment movement uh, can go and how we can assure that that real true grassroots voice of what it is really like living with HIV in America today uh, is heard and understood at the levels up here where policy is made and funding uh, is, is, uh, is decided. Um, talk to me about the fact that, as I understand it, it was at the last conference that the Colorado people sheepishly raised their hands when they asked, who's going to be next? And they thought, well, maybe us. Right. You know, I, you take a little pride in the fact that that was, the, 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 you know, that whole thing was birthed at the first one. Uh, absolutely. So at the first HIV is not a crime conference, it was right when Iowa modernized their statute. And so we were able to have a, a ceremony with the legislators who were responsible. It was very moving because we also, one of the state senators brought uh, a large uh, bolt cutters to clip the ankle bracelets on Nick Rhodes and Donald Bogardis, two people who had been convicted under the Iowa statute and had, until the bill passed, been required to register as sex offenders and have ankle monitoring bracelets. But there we were talking about, you know, there are 30-some states with HIV-specific statutes. We want to re modernize them all, repeal or modernize them all. And we're talking, which one would be next? And you know, the Colorado group said, well, we'd like to get started on ours. And, uh, and so the Colorado Mod Squad, uh, with Barb Cardell and, and others, the, the Positive Women's Network there, uh, drove that process, and they did it in two years. Their bill was just passed last week, right before the conference this year. It took Iowa, the first one, five years, uh, led by Tammy Haught. Uh, Colorado did it in two years, and by the time we do HIV is not a crime three, we're hopeful that there'll be uh, several more states that will have uh, repealed or modernized their statutes. That was my next question. You got any guesses as to what what state well, could be next? Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure what state could be next, but 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 there are states that have a really vibrant advocacy underway around this: uh, Michigan, uh, Missouri, uh, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, um, Idaho is really getting started. Uh, Indiana is really getting started with under Kerry, uh, Elizabeth Foote's leadership. They've got a big group here. Uh, so you can't tell because the political dynamics and the process, what is required, will be different in each state. There's not like a cookie cutter plan to go in, this is what you have to do. No, you have to engage first people living with HIV, then the, the HIV service organizations and our sort of natural allies and public health officials and sort of move out from there and find the plan that will work in that state. In some states, they're focusing first on educating prosecutors to mitigate harm, to, to educate them about why these prosecutions are inappropriate or, or you know, uh, in other states, it's uh, focusing on the community. Some states, they start with the legislature. It's all different kinds of things, um, but, um, but almost every month there's some real good development in one state or another, so it's happening at a faster speed. Well, congratulations on giving birth to this conference. Your name comes up again and again and again <laughs> when people talk about who inspires them and who got this thing started. Now, I also understand that the small town in which you live, Milford, has appointed you mayor. So I guess there's no criminalization laws there that you can repeal while in office, right? Uh, no, no. But it, honestly, 
you know, I, Mark, you know, I have been involved in HIV work my entire adult life, mm -hmm. and I've never been involved in HIV work that is more personally satisfying to me and more inspiring to me, and that's absolutely the truth. I love PAWS, I'm proud of PAWS, and that was a very important and inspiring time. But right now, we have people who come to this conference who leave transformed, uh, who leave transformed. You know, we have people who came here who never before had been in a room with more than two or three other people with HIV before in their lives. And they come here and there are several hundred. Uh, so that is incredibly meaningful to me. Milford, uh, the little town where I live in Pennsylvania, uh, our mayor resigned and uh, our council in their uh, infinite wisdom uh, appointed me to complete his term through uh, 2017. Uh, so uh, that doesn't really mean very much except that I can now marry people. Uh, yes, uh, I, um, I'm a tiebreaker for the council uh, and I oversee the police department. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> so. Well, that's great. Well, it's huge on social media. Everybody thinks that you've just been, that you may be running for governor next, you know, it's become <laughs> that big a deal. Yeah, so. that's a real platform, mayor of Milford, Pennsylvania to governor. Don't, 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 don't sell yourself short. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you for being here too. Mm -hmm.